19th march a hammer on a rock jeremiah chapter 23 verse 29 is not my word like a fire says the lord and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces hammers come in all shapes and sizes there are jack hammers sledge hammers claw hammers and ball peen hammers to name a few each one is designed with a certain task in mind a jack hammer breaks up asphalt a sledge hammer drives stakes into the ground a claw hammer drives nails through lumber a ball peen hammer is frequently used by machinists but all hammers have one ultimate purpose to enable the user to penetrate a hard substance as god viewed israel in the time of jeremiah he saw a nation whose heart had become exceedingly hard the kings or shepherds failed in their responsibility to lead the people as they ought instead of guiding them to green pastures many of the kings led the people into the wilderness of idolatry and immorality jeremiah chapter 23 verses 1 to 2 Even the religious leaders whose job was to exhort the people to righteousness hardened their hearts against God. He declared that both prophet and priest were profane. Verse 11. Something was needed to penetrate the calloused hearts. That's why God proclaimed that his word would not only be like a fire to burn away the chaff but also like a hammer powerful enough to shatter the rock-hard hearts of his people. The Bible tells us that sin hardens the earth. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 17 to 19. The longer a person rebels against God, the harder his heart becomes. But we must never underestimate the power of God's word. Sometimes it touches our lives gently and brings comfort and healing. At other times, it comes down like a sledgehammer with a blow that breaks our heart into pieces. The more we choose to harden our hearts against God and his will, the more devastating the blow. Ask God to reveal if your heart has become hardened towards him. And if you sense it has, allow him to use his word to shatter any hardness you might find. Better a shattered heart than a hardened heart. Amen.